I think the last thing a skateboarder wants to hear when they wake up from surgery is that they're not going to be able to skate again. But I didn't expect the doctor to tell me that I'm going to have problems walking. Yeah, I couldn't do anything for two months. The doctors gave me these injections that I had to take in the morning and in the evening. They just completely numb your body. Fragment injections, codeine, morphine, methadone. I literally couldn't get out of bed. I was just stuck watching TV. Um, all in all, the rehab lasted about a year until the doctor told me I could start skating again. But when I started skating, it was super uncomfortable all the time because of how much metal was in my leg mostly. Or, well, that's what I thought anyway. I was so desperate to get back to where I was and I felt like I tried everything, but there was no progression. There was no change in the way my leg felt. There were no signs of it getting better. It just stayed the same. In the back of my mind, I knew there was, there was something else going on. Yeah, I would go back to the doctors. I went back five or six times. Towards the last few times of going in, I was just, please, like, tell me, tell me what's going on. Because like, every time I'd go in, they'd just be like, oh, you've got arthritis. Yeah, I would just like walk out and be like sick. I'm like 18 years old and I've got arthritis, so I don't, don't really know what to do now. Eventually, a different doctor told me that my leg was actually still broken. So essentially, for the last six months, I'd been skating on a broken leg. time we, we woke up it was like wet everywhere but it hasn't been raining just wet moisturized thing what do you call that in english drinking tea peaky blindness it's big wherever you go it takes an hour to go there small houses and it's kind of gray but it's a nice what do you say like a, a cozy feeling 33 years of age coming out from wales we got Prince Harry on the course. <laughs> it's, it's important to save the sterling, you know, without it we wouldn't be anything. The queen is good and all, but the sterling is everything. <laughs> Whoa, she's 91. Ah, Prince Charles, I don't know. <laughs> okay, cheers, bye.
<laughs> um, no, yeah, there's there's no more metal in my leg anymore. The second surgeon killed it. It's still like there's still problems. It still has its issues, but compared to how it felt before, it feels amazing. It's like there was so much congestion in there, and now it's just completely free. And I can't even like begin to explain how good that feels, actually. Yeah, as, as lame as it sounds, skating's just kind of back to being fun. Like, it's, it's not so much of a burden anymore. In a weird way, the downtime you have with an injury is something you're actually quite used to as a skateboarder in the UK because of the weather in the winter. But even though I'm just getting back on my board now in January, the winter honestly isn't even bothering me. It's been like two years, so I'm just stoked to be out skating with my mates again. Out of control. <laughs>